My one thing I'm gonna show you today is pantry pasta. The best part about it is that you don't really have to think about it. It's not a recipe, it's more of a technique. The basics of this thing is that it always starts with things you have on hand, which for me, hopefully most of you, onions, garlic, butter, oil. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put a little butter in here. I'm gonna add a little oil, let that melt for a few minutes. Then you add your onions, you wanna get these caramelized. So I'm gonna cook these onions, I'm gonna add a little salt to them to help them sweat out and get translucent. These onions are looking good. So next I'm gonna add some garlic. I love garlic. If everyone eats garlic, then you're all fine. If everybody eats garlic, then nobody has garlic breath or everybody has garlic breath, so we cancel each other out. All right, I'm only gonna cook the garlic for a, a very short time because I just wanna bring out the flavor, but I don't want it to burn. And next, I'm gonna add some flour. I don't measure, I'm just gonna add a spoonful. I don't know, whatever you think. Really the point of this is to, once you add your stock, you'll see that it turns into a thick and delicious sauce. You're just gonna cook this down for a little bit till you don't really see any of the whiteness. So now I'm gonna add the stock. All right, am I adding this? I'm adding this. So you're gonna cook this until it is thick, till you, in your mind, you know when you add this pasta, it's gonna turn into a nice thick sauce. We're almost there, folks. This is looking amazing. Oh. All right, now I'm gonna add Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Oh, now I'm gonna add Worcestershire. No. It adds like a nice bitterness, an umami flavor. It feels good on your tongue. Ooh, look at that. So this looks basically like you want it to look. I'm gonna add thyme. Onions, thyme are a perfect combination. French onion soup and thyme, they are a thing. If you don't have fresh thyme, you can use dried thyme, it works fine. Literally, I'm just gonna pull the leaves off. You don't have to worry too much if you get some stems in there. Oh, this makes it smell so good. All right, I think we're there. I'm gonna add a half a pound of pasta. I'm gonna stir this up. It does not matter what type of pasta you use, but for me, I always like to use a shortcut pasta because when I dig my fork in here, I want to get pasta and all of the bits and all of the things. Now is the magic. The best part is add cheese. So I'm just gonna dump this all in. It's gonna get really gooey really fast and then we're gonna eat it. Oh, right, the breadcrumbs. I forgot about the breadcrumbs. So the breadcrumbs. French onion soup has bread on top. If you feel decadent, you can cook up some breadcrumbs in butter. It is not necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Put them in, stir it up. Holy, can you guys see this? Look at this. Crunchy, uh, gooey, buttery. I mean, I can't wait. It looks so good. Mm. Oh man, it's so, so good. And the thing is like, if you don't have garlic, don't put the garlic in. Even if you don't have the time, you could literally make this with onions, butter, flour, stock, and pasta, which you should always have in your pantry. That's it, this is it. I'm gonna eat the bits by themselves because they're so good. If you guys like this video, check out more one thing on thespruceeats.com.